Hey, today we're going to talk about percent composition and before we do, you know the drill, get it out, get it out, get it out, get it out, okay? We're going to be looking at the back page, table T, there is a percent composition formula. Percent composition by mass, so percent composition equals mass of the part equals mass of the part over mass of the whole. It's pretty much all percentage is. If you're thinking of your, your overall percentage of your, on your test, it was the number correct over the total number. So the part is the part that you got right. So the percent right is the part you got right over the entire amount. Quite simple. Now it's going to ask you a question of, for example, like, um, what percent of CO2 is oxygen? Okay. Now, first things first. You've got to figure out what is the whole, what is the part. We need to do the gram, use the gram formula mass. So, the gram formula mass of CO2. We have one carbon times 12 equals 12. We have two oxygens times 32. Two oxygens times 16 equals 32. So the gram formula mass is 44 grams per mole of carbon dioxide. So what I'm going to do is I got to take the part, which is the oxygen, over carbon dioxide. I wrote this out because I wanted to show you something. Oxygen, there's not just one oxygen, there's actually two oxygens. So that is O2 over CO2. Or the mass of the O2, which is 32 over 44. Get out my trusty calculator. 32 divided by 44 is... 72.72727272, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? You gotta multiply this by 100 as well. I know you guys know how to do that. It is 72.727272, so it's gonna be, when we round it, 73%. These were two significant figures, this is two significant figures. So 73% 73 oxygen. We don't write O2, we write oxygen because it's actually asking us for oxygen there. Okay? Let's look at another one. That's one example of a problem you're going to get. The other example is pretty straightforward. Which element makes up the highest percentage of glucose's mass. Now, I don't expect you to know the glucose, although you should, because you had a really good living environment teacher. Glucose, C6, H12, O6. You should know that. But we're going to have to figure out a couple of things. First, we have to figure out the grand formula of acid glucose. So C is 6 times 12, which is 72. H is 12, which is the quantity, times 1 is 12. And oxygen is 6 times 16, which is 96. Add them all up, and you got 108. I've done it so many times, I got that number in my head. Okay? So let's get rid of this nonsense right here we don't need it anymore. We know that it is 180 grams per mole. Usually they'll give you this, they'll give you this information, but I'm taking the, taking the long route because I want you to make sure that you know how to do this. So all we got to do is remember percent composition equals part over whole. So we're going to do this for each one of the elements. So for carbon, there is six carbon, so it's going to be C6 over glucose, or it's going to be the mass of the carbon, which was 72 over 180. For hydrogen, it's going to be the mass of the hydrogens. Each one was weighed one gram. 
12 over 180. And oxygen would be the six oxygens, which is 96 over 180. Now, what you could do is, in fact, let's do this right now. 72 divided by 180 is 40%. 12 divided by 180 is 6.7%. And 96 divided by 180 is 53.3%. Oxygen has the highest percentage in the mass of glucose. Pretty straightforward. See that? Do it.